I'm the owner of Blue Rhino Safaris and a professional guide. Welcome to my website. I made this video because people often ask me uh, who I am, where I come from, uh, what's my background and I guess they want to join a trip but they're just not sure about this guy in front of them. So let me give you a little bit more insight about who I am. I used to be a professional in the mining industry. Uh, I did that for my whole life until 2007 when I visited Park National de Limpopo with my wife. Uh, we went with a professional guide and a group and uh, for five days we didn't see any animals. I thought I would be disappointed but I wasn't. I was quite exhilarated about the experience. The information that the guide gave us along the road uh, around culture, geology, plants, um, the roads that we traveled on was so interesting that I found my whole experience was just much more than I expected. I realized then that animals was not all that Africa has to offer. It has a lot more than that. So I joined Blue Rhino Safaris. Come on a trip with us and let me try and enlighten you and show you a little bit more, give you some more information and just give you that experience that, that I experienced on my first trip. I read up a lot about the areas uh, and I try to, to add value to to your experience. So what does your money buy you? Big question. Uh, it obviously covers my fees, it covers the uh, park entry fees, the camping fees, your vehicle fees, all the fees that would be associated with you traveling into uh, parks in this area, camping in locations on this area or in the areas. Um, the extras that is not covered would be your fuel, uh, the vehicle that you have, your food. Um, I can help you with a vehicle, I can help you with food, I can help you with tents and, and those type of things. So don't stay away because you don't have everything. Um, but my fees cover basically the, the camping, park entry fees, guide fees uh, and vehicle fees uh, on the trip. Why would you travel in a group? It's another question people always ask me. Uh, traveling in a group is great because you, one, you have a professional person in the front. He helps with mechanical issues. Uh, he can help with changing a tire, um, fixing a tire, uh, anything that happens, uh, health issues. My job as, as the guide is to make sure that your vehicle stays in one piece and that you stay in one piece. Uh, that you don't get sick. So I focus on your health. I make sure that you eat properly. Um, I prepare you properly for the trip so that you understand what, what you need to do and what you don't need to do. <laughs> and uh, and the attempt is to, to keep you healthy and make sure that your vehicle stays in one piece. I don't do competitions, racing up and down dunes, seeing whose vehicle is the strongest. That is a bad idea. Uh, it can quickly end your holiday experience in a very negative way. So we try to be responsible, we are eco-travelers, we try to stay green as far as possible, we try to stay healthy as far as possible, and um, traveling in a group is nice. Uh, you have people to share things with it in the evenings. Uh, meeting new people are, are very exciting as well, and everybody goes to the bush with the same idea. They want to experience Africa. So the groups that I have are generally um, easy going people that just want the same thing and that is a nice experience and that's what I try to achieve. Uh, traveling in Africa is not unsafe but traveling in convoys are always safer. Having someone uh, in the convoy that can assist you, that's why I give out radios, two-way radios, so the convoy is in radio communication and as we travel we can I can tell stories, I can tell you what it's all about and if you have a problem there's someone on the other side of the radio that can stop and, and assist to, to help you out. My traveling times generally I would leave the, the camp in the morning at 7.30, 8 ish. Uh, we'll have a mid-morning coffee stop and then a lunch stop at about uh, 12, 1 o'clock and if necessary an afternoon stop. Uh, otherwise if we're close to camp we might just push through, try to be in camp at 4 o'clock, 4.30 somewhere in that region. I give you a full preparation. Uh, all the documents will be on the website once you've paid your deposits and you will understand exactly what's expected of you. You don't cook for anybody else, you cook only for yourself, you take only, uh, 
take the food only for yourself so you don't have to to worry about what the rest of the group is doing or or, um, or eating I might call her Bry night one of the days on the trip or every once in a week or so and I would maybe do pop and sauce and you can bring your your meat and we have a Bry night um, where I will supply the, the pop and sauce um, other than that there's there's not really much to say traveling in the group is a lot of fun and as I say it does add to your safety so join us on a trip uh, if you want to chat more about which trips will suit you then um, get hold of me email me phone me and we can talk about the ones that will suit you best if you don't find anything on the website that suits you then if you have a couple of cars or more then phone me and say we want to do X Y and Z over that period and this is our budget and I will work on something for your group that suits you um, and based on the group size the price will differ but um, try me and uh, see what I can actually organize for you I do have a first aid certificate um, currently it's level 2 it has to be renewed uh, in the future shortly I do carry a defibrillator in my vehicle and I'm qualified to use it so uh, any heart attacks those type of things I can actually handle in the group um, and I think it's important that um, that that is available uh, because it's fairly remote places that we do visit and having first aid and uh, those type of medical um, equipment is is a good thing rather than not so join me um, I can promise you you'll have a great experience and you will learn a little bit more about the area and uh, we'll try and do it in a safe way uh, with the equipment that you have you don't have to buy any new vehicles or you don't need uh, a 4x4 that looks like a Christmas tree you just need a basic 4x4 with low range on most of the trips some of them even just a soft roller or 2x4 is also acceptable so bring what you've got join a trip and I will try my best to give you the experience that I had in Mozambique in 2007. That one that changed my life. So happy browsing and uh, let me know if there's anything I can do for you. And uh, I hope to see you in the future. Cheers.